Okay, so I'm down at the duck pond today. I've decided instead of, um, after my little uh, excursion last week in the tree, I decided instead of climbing up into a, an area that was gonna break my butt, because right now my tailbone is completely bruised, <laughs> I thought I'd play it safe. But I still came to an area that um, is bringing me back to my inner child. I'll show you where I'm at. Another one of the favorite places I used to go. The slides and the swings. And I still have a view of the lake right down there and all the animals, so we'll see if any totems come along to speak to us. Um, so we're going to be using, I guess we're using the same deck. I just keep grabbing the same one. I'm going to have to make a different choice. But here we are with our Archangel Power deck because I like it. And um, I'm actually going to use this. This is going to kind of work out cool. I've got like a little table here that I can spread the cards on. So um, here we go. Let you watch. All right, so actually, let's mix them up a little bit. Whoa, maybe not. Maybe that's one that we're supposed to have. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna take this one. Page of Raphael. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. A new emotional situation. Messages regarding relationships or social invitations. Great intuitive insights. Okay, so this is Archangel Raphael coming to us. Um, and uh, she, this woman is sitting here on her carpet I think it's a magic carpet because magic and miracles are afoot right now. Um, the water behind her, water signifying emotion, is very calm. It's the ocean, but it's very, very calm. We don't have any big tumblers and you know, not a lot of whitewash. It's just light, easy. Um, so the emotional situation that's coming in is a good one. Um, messages regarding relationships, it's, it's going to be good news. Um, in this little temple here, if you can see up close, the door, it looks like a keyhole. So there's um, a key. If you have a key to open a, a door, you're, you're learning something. You, you've you've um, found your way in. So, so you've, you've something's, um, sorry, just brushing my hair away. Something has been opened up for you. That's what I'm getting from that picture there. Um, also, this is a castle that's been built on the sand. Now think about the sand and water and what happens when the water comes in and washes it down. But this castle is built up high. The, the water is down below, so this person was smart. They've built their castle, but it's on a more found, uh, secure foundation. It's more solid. Um, so this um, um, also showing positive, positive reinforcement. Um, she's all dressed up, so social invitations. So get ready to maybe be invited to go places someplace. And um, don't isolate yourself. Be available. Um, what else? The, the sky overhead is not completely blue. It's not dark. It's, it's bright and it's got light clouds. So things have not cleared completely away in this, in this, uh, in this relationship. Um, there's still a little bit of something that you, things you don't know, things that you, so don't jump to conclusions. Don't make any assumptions about what you think you know. Always pay attention to what you do know. Um, the top, gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted. So they're asking you to, as, as Archangel Raphael is the, um, he's the healing angel, he's, um, he's asking you to keep your heart open, no matter what has happened, and dream. Um, keep your dreams positive. Um, she's smiling, and, and of course our thoughts today are our realities tomorrow, so keep our thoughts um, positive, our hearts open. Even if this um, relationship issue has been challenging, that especially is when we're, we are um, being asked to keep our hearts open because every time our heart cracks open a little bit more, it allows more love to come in. I'm going to look in the book and I'm going to see if there's something um, specifically. I'll let you look around while I'm looking through this. See what you can see. See if you see anything fun. I should probably stand up so you can see a little bit better. It's kind of like what the weather we've got today happened, um, in the picture, isn't it? It's, it's beautiful today. It's, it's, it's warm, but it's a light, cool breeze. And we've got like not a lot of cloud coverage. We've got just light coverage. So it's very, it's very comfortable. Um, let's see. Uh, so emotional situation. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be an emotional um, reaction that you have to um, a project. You may fall in love with a new project or an idea. 
Um, it may be somebody that is coming that will stir your romantic feelings. Um, communication is very important, especially if this is somebody that we're already involved with. Now, think about this because we've had a lot of stuff going on about, a lot of messages in the past about um, communication issues um, and showing forgiveness and compassion. Remember this is, and today um, on one of um, the other pages, I think Starlight, um, she posted um, new beginnings again and we've gotten new beginnings over and over and over and over and so this um, this could be um, a new beginning to um, an old situation or it could be a new situation just remain open to it um, you might be getting information that is private um, um, Maybe there's something that's been kept from you, um, that, that's going to be or that's um, going to be divulged to you. So they're asking you to remember to respect everyone's privacy. I'm just getting that. Okay. So let's see what else we get for our reading this week. It's hard to shuffle these cards this way. All right. Whoa, that's the one because it was alone. Okay. Interesting. Four of Raphael. Here's the Raphael again and again on the beach. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. All right. So, you've got a choice. The water, again, is very, very calm. But look, there's clouds above it here. So, um, maybe this, maybe you're in, in another situation, they're asking you to think maybe um, long and hard about what this situation will entail to you. Um, be aware of your own emotions. Don't be caught up in your emotional responses or reaction. Try not to react. Reacting is not good. Um, seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Okay, so there's dragonflies all around her. Um, look for the magic in life. So instead of dwelling on things that have gone wrong possibly, um, think about the positives. Um, if, if, if something hasn't worked out that you want the way you, that you thought it was going to work out, um, Take the lessons that you've got um, in this because it, I posted an article just, just today about um, endings and beginnings and just endings are actually just, what, what was it? It was, um, oh, I'm not going to remember it properly now, right, but I need it, <laughs> but it's on my page. But it's, it's to be careful about how you view, view endings because endings are just a beginning, a new beginning. So, um, so take, take the lessons that you've learned from that and carry it forward and, you, and be, be careful not to get caught up in sadness or disappointment. Disappointment is just another way of, of that spirit has our way of um, taking a look at the situation and improving, this, improving our, our perspective and, and moving forward. Um, I'm gonna look at four of Raphael. I'm gonna see, let you look around again. If there's anything else, additional. Okay, so what they're saying is that there are, that the situation in, in front of you, you're looking at it a certain way because we can't help but um, have in our mind how it is that we want things to be. And what they're saying is that this situation might be, um, seem to be limited to you or not exactly what you were hoping for it to be, but there's more here than meets the eye. Um, that there's opportunities that are presenting themselves, but sometimes we get so focused on this little box that we have in our head about how things are supposed to be that we'll miss these opportunities that are coming. So they're asking you to open your eyes to all possibilities in front of you. Um, they're asking you, because she's sitting alone on the beach, um, they both were sitting alone on the beach. So it's si it signifying um, this is a time of healing. It's a time also of meditation, a time of... Um, um, instead of focusing on a disappointment of something that may not have turned out, but take a time to go in. This is a time actually to reflect, to go in. Um, let's see. Just be sure that you don't miss the point. Miss um, opportunities that are in front of you or perhaps the lessons that you've learned um, in this situation. You don't want to, you don't want to lose that. You don't want to lose the, the lessons in this by being caught up in the emotional um, aspect of, of, of being disappointed and things not being the way you want them to be right now. Because as we, um, said earlier in the first card and endings what may appear as an ending may be the end of the beginning but it doesn't necessarily mean it's the end things may not be as they appear okay so next card let's see if we 
get a choice here if it's going to be thrown out for us. Whoop, it's right there. All right. Huh, this makes sense. Okay, I'm going to put my deck stuff down here, so... <laughs> okay, decision. Archangel Jophiel, release yourself from that which holds you back, a need to detox, unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. Okay, so here we see a girl, and she's holding a cage, and all the birds are flying out of the cage. And, I mean, this is Archangel Jophiel, she's holding the cage. The birds are all flying out of the cage, except for that one bird. It's sitting inside there. And he feels like he's in his cage, but he's not. The gate's open. He's, the other birds have flown away. He's just sitting in there. So it's kind of like a, it's in your own mind. Um, you, you may be feeling that you're being held back, but it's only in your own head. It's only the way you're viewing it, the way you're choosing to view it. So they're asking you to view things um, in a different manner. And there may be a decision that you need to be making at this time. Um, you may have been, um, like we would just got, been presented with a couple of different choices. And so they want you to really pay attention to um, the guidance and the messages that are coming to you, how you are feeling about um, the things that you, are, that you are seeing and the messages that are coming and what it is that you really want in your life. Take a really good look at all things. As we said just a moment ago, perhaps you're missing a point. Perhaps you've got something in front of you that you're not seeing, the opportunity that you're seeing. So you have a choice, I guess it looks like. You know, you have a decision to make. So pay attention to the, um, to the options in front of you and realize that you're not being held back. You're not in a cage. That is your choice. You can, fly, you can fly free or you can stay where you are. Maybe this is the decision that you're getting. That you have a choice to, um, maybe the situation you're in isn't ideal. Maybe it's difficult. Maybe you're not quite, um, you're not happy with the way things feel. Um, things aren't moving, as, it, as was said before, things aren't moving along as you wanted them to. But this cage is, is your cage because you've chosen to stay there. You know, you, you have a choice to fly and go somewhere else and break free from what's holding you back. Um, so you can untangle yourself if that's what you choose to do and, 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 and get out of the cage and leave. Negative thinking is also something that's going to keep you trapped, um, feeling trapped. It's not actually a trap. It's, it's your own mind that's, that's making you feel trapped. So um, keep the thoughts pos positive in your head constantly. Even, and every time you get pulled into feeling um, something negative, try and see what is it that I'm supposed to be learning from this? What is it that I'm supposed to be um, taking from this situation? That I may what am I not seeing here? I always ask that. What am I not seeing here? You know, what, 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 and, and look around and, and pay attention and, and, and um, really, really tune in and pay attention to different posts that you might see, to um, songs that come on when you're thinking that, to conversations that other people are having. Try not to be stuck in your own head um, when you're around people or when you're, when you're hearing outside stimulus. Um, when you're outside like we are right now, like I'm looking around right now, we've got um, two white geese there, we've got ducks. Um, it, it's all about community, it's all about communication. You can hear them talking. Um, pay attention to the different totems that we see that may come to us because that may give us um, a message as well. And uh, always pay attention to your dreams. Your dreams are very, very important. If you have the ability to remember anything from your dreams, write them down. And I've often said that. I love dreams, dream analysis. And often um, we don't know what the dreams are meaning at the time. I had a dream last night and it was so detailed all night long that I, it was interesting because I was in the dream and yet I was repeating it in my head because I didn't want to wake up. I thought I need to write this down, I need to write this down, but I kept repeating it and the dream kept going on and on and on. And I woke up this morning and the detail was all still there. And I wrote it down and I haven't figured it out yet. I mean, I've been busy today so I'll do it and I know that it will come to me at the right time. I know that when I'm ready to get the lesson from it, um, I'll get a message um, that will be pointing me in the right direction. It always happens that way. And I'll go back and I'll over, um, reanalyze and see what I get from that. So pay attention and write down what you can for your dreams because they're very, very important. Um, also, the message in the book here, let's see. Okay, so their message is a focus on material possessions, overspending, a need to detox, a lack of self-confidence, unnecessary worry. So these are all things that you can... Um, there are additional messages from, from this card. And as far as everything else in here, it's pretty much what I was saying. Good news that the limitations are self-created, um, and so they can be uncreated. And basically what you need to do is ask for help um, from the angels and the creator to help you 
um, keep your mindset positive and um, keep you focused on on the positive and what you really should be focused on as opposed to allowing yourself to focus on the negative. Um, so those are our messages for this week. Um, I think they all went together pretty well. And uh, I'm going to sit out here myself and just kind of listen and see what, what comes to me, um, see what different totems come up and pay attention to um, the messages that we got. And I also want to analyze my dream and maybe this is a good place to do it. I think I'm going to go in the swing set. I like that. It's fun. Makes me kind of connect to my inner child, you know? And I like swinging. I like being in the air. <laughs> if I can sit on the swing set <laughs> after breaking my tailbone. Anyway, so if you want to follow me, I'm on um, Twitter under Sherry Columbus. LinkedIn, Google Plus under Sherry Columbus. I'm Angels Whisper, um, Sherry Columbus on Facebook. And uh, my website is www.thewhispersofangels.com. And I'm on Twitter as well under Sherry Columbus. So, um, and if you're interested in ever having a reading or having a dream analysis done, I'm very um, up for that and very excited. I love doing it. So um, I will let you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'm sure I'll, we'll touch base again and speak. Uh, two doves just landed on that tree up there. First the one, then the other came. I don't know if you probably can't see it. It just looks like leaves to you. But one was there and the other came and joined. So that message right there goes along with a relationship message. Um, me um, a new romantic feelings or romantic messages coming or something regarding a relationship because um, doves are about harmony and peace and love and uh, communication. So there's one of our wonderful totems. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Blessings.